Мне нравятся люди, с которыми... I like the people I work with. Each one of them can teach me something. These people, they're a team working at Bell Yarsk nuclear power plant. They're intelligent, friendly, and a well-knit group. Who implemented a unique project, BN-800. This is our second fast neutron reactor. The first one was BN-600 and the fourth power unit of Bell Yarsk nuclear power plant. BN-800 carries on a tradition it's worth noting that there are no more operating fast reactors of this type in the world. We can discuss for hours how many efforts have been taken during the design and construction stages, how the concepts which made BN-800 a new achievement in nuclear energy were being developed. Today, we know for sure that we can overcome all difficulties. The results can speak for themselves. On December 10th of 2015, power unit BN-800 the Belyarsk nuclear power plant was connected to the Russian national power grid. This is the unit control room. It's the power unit control center. All information relevant to the reactor and other system operations ends up here. During eight-hour shifts, the power unit was operated by a team of specialists. Imagine the extent of the responsibility they bear in order to solve any issues that may arise. Each one of them must be a professional. They have to be in excellent health and well-grounded, not very different from an astronaut. Let's describe the structure of the power unit. The most important elements are the reactor, the steam generator, and the turbine with the generator. When nuclear fuel is supplied to the power unit, it's loaded into the reactor. As a result of controlled nuclear reactions, a lot of heat is released. This heat is transferred to a coolant. The uniqueness of BN-800 lays in the fact that this role is performed not by water, like in other reactors, but by sodium. Taking heat from the reactor, the primary sodium transfers it via the intermediate heat exchanger to the secondary sodium, which transits it to the steam generator. In the steam generator, the water heated by this heat turns into steam, and this steam starts to rotate the turbine. The turbine in turn rotates the generator rotor, around which an electromagnetic field occurs. Electric power received that way passes to the transformers and is further transferred to the power grid. And briefly, once again, the reactor gives heat, the steam generator, steam, the turbine, rotation, and finally, the generator, electricity, and the whole process runs continuously. That's why the scheme on the basis of which our power unit is implemented is called a three-circuit scheme. In the primary circuit, a reaction takes place, and we withdraw the received heat. In the secondary, we transfer this heat to the steam generator. In the tertiary, we receive steam and transfer it to the turbine. The traditional nuclear power industry uses uranium graphite channel type reactors and water-water energetic reactors on thermal neutrons. Such reactors run only on uranium-235, of which there is very little in natural uranium, less than 1%. What remains is uranium-238, which is useless for thermal reactors. This isotope stockpile is huge. Unlike thermal neutron reactors, fast reactors solve the problem of uranium-238. In a fast reactor, Uranium-238 fissions, emitting energy, and turns into plutonium-239. And here's how it happens. When a neutron hits a target, the uranium nucleus is divided into two parts, which fly apart at a high rate of speed. And when this occurs, a great amount of energy is released, and new neutrons emerge. Some of them participate in a new fission reaction, while some interact with the uranium-238 nucleus to form plutonium-239. Plutonium-239 is also a nuclear fuel. It turns out that fast neutron reactors create a new fuel in order to feed both themselves and thermal neutron reactors. Besides, fast reactors can reuse spent fuel from other reactors, which, together with bread plutonium, can allow an increased efficiency of using natural uranium. Is everything ready? Yes, ready. Documents are prepared. We're starting the process of refueling. Our fuel is a reactor fuel assembly. Its length is three and a half meters. The weight, about 100 kilos. The assembly contains around 127 heating elements, fuel elements. Each fuel element looks like a hermetically sealed tube and is filled with uranium in the form of a tablet. The reactor room fuel is supplied in special containers. 
Using a special procedure, we withdraw this fuel and place it into the reactor. In the reactor itself, we can change the fuel position in order to establish uniform heating. We withdraw spent fuel from the reactor and prepare it for storage in the spent fuel storage pool. This is the reactor, the heart of the power unit. The full-strength guard vessel is installed over the main reactor vessel in order to strictly prevent sodium leakage. The reactor hull dome will stay intact, even if an airplane were to crash into it. And also, the building can withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake. In general, the safety principle on which our power unit is based is called natural. A fast sodium reactor can be shut down under any circumstances by passive safety systems. The reactor uses specially designed rods that absorb neutrons. We have a molten core material trap as well. In case of the most unexpected accident, it can withhold fuel, keep it from leaking out, and prevent uncontrolled nuclear reactions. One more unique feature of BN-800 is a reactor emergency cooldown system, where regular air is used. It comes in through pipes without any special devices, just by natural drafts. Now, let's have a look at the reactor and see what's happening inside. As we've already said, the nuclear reaction takes place in the reactor fuel assembly, which is located in the reactor. When a neutron arrives, the uranium nucleus divides into two halves, which fly apart at a high rate of speed. And when this occurs, a great amount of energy is released and new neutrons emerge. During the reaction, the fuel tablet heats up. In order to prevent its disintegration, it is usually cooled by water. But in a fast reactor, it was decided to use liquid sodium for this purpose. Why sodium? It perfectly conducts heat. But in order to make the reactor even safer, our designers left sodium to circulate in the reactor. And they installed intermediate heat exchangers through which heat absorbed by sodium from a core is transferred by secondary sodium to the steam generator into the reactor. In the primary and secondary circuits, there are three independent sodium circulation loops of this type in the power unit of BN-800. Well, we've got three circuits. In the first one, the nuclear reaction takes place. After passing to the reactor core, the sodium heats up and withdraws heat from the reactor fuel assembly. The intermediate heat exchangers heat the sodium of the secondary circuit, and the latter, in turn, transfers heat to the steam generator, which, together with the turbine, constitute the tertiary circuit. The steam generator is supplied with water, which heats up and turns into steam. Later, we superheat the steam. In the end, non-radioactive, superheated steam passes to the turbine through these pipes. The turbine consists of a high-pressure cylinder and three low-pressure cylinders. Steam passes through the high-pressure cylinder and shifts to the low-pressure cylinders, which work in parallel. Its potential energy turns into the kinetic energy of the turbine's rotation. The rotation is passed to the generator, which turns the mechanical rotation energy of the turbine into electrical energy. The equipment's operating without any problems. Got it. Thank you. Supply the grid with 860 megawatts. The generated power through the power unit transformers and 500 kilovolt switchyards is transferred to the power grid. Later, it passes to the consumer. Industrial enterprises, residential areas, all of them are consumers of Belyarsk nuclear power plant. Both of our operating units generate about 14% of the total amount 
of Sverdlovsk Oblast's electricity. And one, BN800 is able to fully supply a metropolis such as Yekaterinburg with electricity. The second shift hands off the watch to the third shift. Have a good shift. The attitude to the fast reactor power industry may be different, but we said that such reactors are necessary. The future belongs to them. In order to use natural fuel to its maximum extent, as well as generating a new type of fuel and closing the fuel cycle. In order to develop and implement innovative technologies. And finally, in order to make nuclear reactors safe for everyone. Today, routine work is performed at BN800. But while operating our unique equipment and improving it, we are also dreaming. We hope that soon it will be our power plant, which will house a new commercial reactor, BN1200. It will combine the best design and technical achievements of the forerunners, including those of the reactor, BN-800. If we are entrusted with this construction, we are ready to carry out this project and work at BN-1200.